Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to uh, have our topic or discussion on how to configure emulator like this okay, inside Android Studio. Alright, so let's get started. So from here, okay, I will create a new project you know, from there. So create file, a new project. Okay, so new project and then uh, we're going to build a simple hello world. So we will rely on the following template which is an empty activity this time. So let's try to name this as... Uh, hello world app. hello world app. okay and yeah select the language and also the API which you can see and click finish so from there okay let us just wait for a while now. and below everything now by the grid yeah building some point of resources requires no okay just to facilitate <clears throat> the particular applications we created or the activity which is the empty activity so this time no while we are waiting um just for checking no? let us try to check our sdk manager so make sure okay from the android sdk so make sure okay your api32 is being or the recent one and i have here and i just uh, installed as well the 11 and also android 9 you can also check the this one no, if this is installed already so if not no yeah just tick this box no for our android emulator and these are all default but i suggest no Make sure to take this one and force to install and fetch everything no, uh, from there, no, especially the SDK. Okay, so SDK updates. So I will apply, and this time the following components will be installed, no, especially the Android emulator version and the size okay, of file to be downloaded. So click OK. And here comes now, okay, uh, let us just wait for a while now for this to, okay, to have, uh, yeah, just wait for a while now for me to uh, fully 100% now downloaded and installed in our system. So, yeah, for the information of everyone, I just made this video, it's because of the demand of my students no? so here uh, we'll guide them no? especially for okay for configuring their emulator inside android studio so yeah it's it requires more time no? for downloading depending on the speed of your <coughs> internet all right so while we are waiting no? um, yeah so let us just wait for so i have a good internet right now no? uh, at this moment so yeah it's possible that we can really get the particular download no? at most um, let's say uh, seven or six minutes like that no? six to seven minutes okay so waiting for a while so by the way no um let me open the the other um yeah, there is another emulator that I am going to make a video as well, a separate video for you to download. So, I will 
Yeah, I will just give you the link as well on the current session when I made this video. So we can also use uh, Nox Player no? as the, yeah, as you can see here, it's a Android emulator no? to play mobile games. So it's like, uh, yeah, when we say emulator, no? it's a device that can mimic, okay, mimic your particular smartphone. So while we are waiting uh, for this emulator no, to, yeah, I think that we are already done. So at the same time, no, with a separate video, I will also download this now. It's because it takes also okay, a uh, particular thing. It requires more time as well no, to, yeah, to download this file. All right, but I will make a separate video on this. Okay, so yeah, just click finish and everything is working now. And click OK. So the next thing to do is, yeah, still um, the options here is also the same with this. So this is the SDK, this one, and this is also the device manager. So before this is ABD. So right now, I just click the device manager and yeah, everything is uh, must be in, yeah, is being placed in the right side okay, of our window. So right now, I am going to create a device no, or an emulator this time. So here, I am suggesting no, you will only use no, Nexus for the size. No. And even the, okay, the high definition uh, pixel uh, that can provide a, it's enough, I think. The uh, Nexus 5X. Okay, so here I will be using Nexus 5 and yeah, just click next. No, and as you can see here, no, I have uninstalled API 32, it's because of the, the installation earlier. But yeah, for your guide, no, I will be selecting this one. It's because I have downloaded it. But if you don't have this already, so make sure to download. Let's say I am I want to use API level um, thirty one. So just download, and still it takes more time as well no, to download the files and ready for the installation. All right, so just click next, no, and yeah. In my end, I will rely on the particular uh, Android virtual device. No? So this is the name. So I will rely on it. And just click finish. So here, uh, everything is good, I think, no? at this time. And there is an option right now just for us to launch our emulator. So... Yeah, let us just wait for a while. Yeah. So as you can see here, you now I will minimize this one. And right now, I am connecting to the emulator this time. Now. So I successfully downloaded the emulator and configured it properly as I created earlier. Okay, so waiting for a while now. Alright, so here comes now the application um, the emulator of our smartphone okay so let's wait for a while now it's like your phone as you turn on turn on your phone no? it's the idea on how we used to uh, how we switch on and be able to proceed to the particular uh, home of our phone. So it's just the same scenario. <clears throat> um, in the next video, I will be demonstrating how to use Nox Player as our emulator. And with that, it can guide you as well no? on using a physical device it's like your physical device no? as the emulator for android applications development 
So, after the ovulator is being uh, yeah, placed in the homepage this time. So, right now, as you can see now, we are starting the homepage this time. So, let us just wait for a while. And, yeah, I think we're good now. So, here, as you can see, I have now Nexus 5 API 32, which I, the emulator, the name of the virtual device I created earlier. So, if I'm going to run, no, uh, with the simple output that uh, we want right now, especially the output, uh, let, let me minimize this, uh, this one for a while. Okay. So here, as you can see, no, we would like to create a simple hello world. Okay, hello world app. No? Okay, in the middle. Okay, so you can also browse in the code part and also in the design part. No? So like this one, it's the text. And this is the text that we uh, saw here. And these are the constraints. No? Okay, just to make those things being positioned at the middle, especially this particular object, the text view. Okay, so to run, you can press Shift F10 or just press Display button. Okay, to run our program. So as you can see, let us wait here now in our emulator and waiting to build our applications. So building something and everything as well as the APK file on it. And yeah, after that building process or compilation process no, will make or will provide us initial view no, about this um, installation or yeah, compilation. So, yeah. next is installation this time. And waiting to fully load it and be able to show it in our emulator. Alright, launching the activity this time. And there you go. So waiting for a while. Just to ensure, okay. So this is the output that we have right now. Okay, so that's it for my video. Thank you for watching.